Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the global version the original, brand new top selling laser engraving machine product on AliExpress, with discount price have changed. China got involved, and suddenly there were cheap lasers on the market. Currently, there are several low-cost laser models available in various power levels. The most popular is the smallest of 40-watt model, dubbed the K40. There are numerous manufacturers and there have been many versions over the years. They all look about the same though. A blue sheet metal box with the laser tube mounted along the back. The cutting compartment is on the left, and the electronics are on the right. Earlier versions came with MashaDraw software and a parallel. Interface.thek40 mechanics haven't changed very much, but the electronics have been updated to USB with modern stepper drivers. Make no mistake, these are not quality machines. They are built down to a cost. Interlock switches are non-existent. Overheat protection for the tube is your problem. Low cooling water flow alarm. Nope, better keep an eye on that yourself. The cutting bed looks like a mixture of an afterthought and parts someone found in the spares bin. The exhaust duct is routed three inches into the cutting area. In other words, these are the perfect machines for a hacker. While the K40 may be cheap, I didn't want to skimp on safety equipment. There are many vendors for laser safe goggles online. There are plenty of them available from China, but I really didn't want to risk my eyes to a company I had never heard of. I did some checking around and ended up ordering a pair manufactured by Honeywell. Amazon had them available on Prime, so they got to me before the K40 itself. Whichever pair you order, make sure they are rated for CO2 lasers. There are many types of lasers out there, and goggles meant to protect you from a UV medical laser won't help much at all. When it comes to an IR laser like the one in the K40, IR safe glasses will be clear, or nearly so, but don't mistake them for bog standard safety glasses. These are specially made materials which will help keep you safe from the invisible blindness beam your K40 puts out. When your other safety measures fail, lasers burn things, and it is unfortunately common for those things to catch fire inside the laser. I'm keeping a large ABC dry powder fire extinguisher near the printer. However, that's only a stopgap. If you've ever had to use a powder extinguisher, you know how messy they are. To try to keep the K40 and the rest of my lab safe, I'm planning to invest in a gas extinguisher of some type, either CO2 or halotron, depending on which is safer for use in a basement room. The lasers include a coolant pump as one of the accessories. The pump I received is a wonder of cost reduction. It's an aquarium or pond pump with a magnetically coupled impeller. I was concerned when after use I saw water dripping out of the pump down the 120 volts power cord. It turns out the battery near the printer. However, that's only a stopgap. If you've ever had to use a powder extinguisher, you know how messy they are. To try to keep the K40 and the rest of my lab safe, I'm planning to invest in a gas extinguisher of some type, either CO2 or halotron, depending on which is safer for use in a basement room. The lasers include a coolant pump as one of the accessories. The pump I received is a wonder of cost reduction. It's an aquarium or pond pump with a magnetically coupled impeller. I was concerned when after use I saw water dripping out of the pump down the 120 volts power cord. It turns out the back cover of the pump isn't even sealed. It doesn't need to be. The motor stator and coils are potted in black epoxy. As long as that potting compound is in place, nothing can get to the motor. It does seem to work well for keeping the cooling water flowing. However, I can't say I completely trust it with the life of my laser tube. A mod may be in the future for this system. For coolant, I'm using distilled water. My reservoir for these early tests is a simple shoebox sized plastic container. It holds a gallon of water and keeps the pump submerged. If the laser isn't going to be used for a few days, I dump the water and empty the tube by blowing into the inlet. Line dot cutting things with a laser will produce smoke and fumes, that's a given. The K40 comes with an exhaust fan which is rather anemic, to say the least. It's literally a bathroom exhaust fan slapped on the back of the laser. Smoke is pulled through a slot cut in the back of the case, and sent up the exhaust hose. I already have a large Dayton fan mounted in the window of my lab. While the unguarded blades are decidedly dangerous, it moves a crazy amount of air. This coupled with the stock exhaust fan, was able to keep the smell of burning wood and plastic down to reasonable levels. However, I'll definitely be upgrading the stock exhaust in the future disclaimers. These choices may be out of date. All of these products may not be in stores. We don't know when this will be back in stock. You need to go top laser engraving machine 2023 review link to see the most recent updates to the list. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel.